let's open a new document in Illustrator. I new. Landscape one. Okay. And now let's place the logo in our file. Stark. Now I have my logo here. And I will log it to the down layer and I call this her original logo. I create a new layer, I take the pen tool, I choose a stroke that is a, has a contrast between the original design. So I'll take a red stroke, for example. I'll add a 0 0.5 stroke and I will start creating my graphic. Now, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. I don't care to be really precise here. Oh, undo click and drag, I press ALT and correct this line here, click and drag I press ALT and change direction, ALT and change direction again ALT and change direction, click and drag, ALT Alt, because I have a point, click and drag, Alt, Alt to change the direction again, so now if I want to change, make, I want to make this line a little bit better. So I take the this selection tool and I can make each line a little bit better. Now the pedal tool again. I click on the last point, click and drag. And when I finish the outline of my design, <coughs> I will do the same with the inner forms. Alt. As you can see here, I have finished the outline and now I'll begin creating the inner forms. After I create the inner and outer paths, I'll cut them through and they'll have only the black shape. So again, the same thing with the pen tool. Drag and drop point, drag and drop, drag and click and drag, alt to change direction, click and drag, click and drag, stop, click and drag, click and drag, alt to change direction. Now 
Now you can try to go, if you want to be really precise, you need to go between the sharp and the feathered pixels, for example, like that. Now, as you can see here, I have created a red path around every black element of my picture. If I select all these things, if I go back to my artwork by pressing Command Y, you'll see I have everything as a path here. Okay. I press Command A to select everything on my layer and add a fill color to see happening here. So I again press select all again, command A, I go to window, pathfinder and I go to the divide. I press divide and then I press command shift G or ungroup. I then take my selection tool and as you can see here I can erase the forms I don't need. Or I can just hide this, command 3, select those, delete them, command alt 3 and back again. I can delete the original logo here. Now I have my vector design ready to do it with. That's it. Command S to save it. Start logo, save. and we are ready to go to the next stage. Now, let's go to Photoshop. I will place my logo on a concrete wall, so I will open and I find my wall. That's my wall. I'll unlock its layer and I'll copy and paste my logo on the wall. Photoshop, Command V, as pixels, and I will paste it on my layer. I think this is enough. That's it. Okay, I will name this layer logo. I will take my magic wand and select around the logo. I'll press Command Shift I to invert my mask, create a new layer, and fill it with white. Command Backspace. Press Command D to deselect. Logo back. I won't need that for now. Now, I want to add a color to my wall. I'll create a new layer. I want, because the Starks are from the cold side of the land, I, will, I want a cold background. So I will add Cyan and I will multiply this. Now, I will need the highlights of the background, so I will go select, color range, select the highlights, somewhere here, create a new layer, and fill this mask with white. 
command backspace to fill it with a background color. So I've got something that looks like this. I will overlay this. Now if I open my logo, you can see that my texture I will not overlay. Now if I click on the layer of the logo, uh, I'll have the mask of the logo which I'll apply here. So my logo has the highlights of the background and it gives it a graffiti type effect. Now I will multiply the logo on the background. Now let's add a little shading on the background. I'll create a new layer over the colored layer. I'll take my airbrush with a feathered brush. I'll press my right bracket to scale it up. And with the edge of my airbrush, I paint black. create a kind of a lens lens vignette effect now I will multiply this layer and bring the opacity a little bit I create a new layer and add a little more dark tones here I could do that with a gradient, but it will never be the same. So now I, will, I want a highlight from the back of the logo because it's my main subject and I want it to pop out a little bit. So I choose white and brush with my hair brush, overlay this layer, and that's it. Now I've kept this one here because I want it to pop out a little bit more. It's white. I will overlay it again and go here. Now I'm pretty okay at this point, but I want to add a little more something to it. Now I click on the layer logo bag and create a mask create a new layer under it and command shift i to invert the mask now i take another color oops reduce a little bit size of the mask command d to deselect and overlay it Not that nice. Color. Now I don't like that much, so I press Command U to change its hue. See where I like it better. somewhere there now if I want this color somewhere else in the picture I will go to layer normal select it color again create a new layer and perhaps I want somewhere else a little bit of that and re bring down the opacity a little bit not much done ok, throw it away now let's select again logo back 
going again to white and let's add a little more overlay and I think I think it's okay for now save desktop save 